Okay, so in this video we're going to be testing the water in our aquarium. These are the test kits which I own. I have ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, pH and phosphate. Okay, so we've got our tubes all ready. And I've prepared a cup of tank water. Now what we want to get is a pipette and then enough water to fill up to the 5 mil line so that's how those filled up first up is the ammonia test kit this has three bottles and you put in five drops of each and then give the test tube a good shake and it takes 10 minutes to develop one two three four five one two three four five One, two, three, four, five. Scroll on the cap and turn it about a bit. A little bit of a shake. Next up is the nitrite test. This one, just one bottle and you add five drops and then that takes two minutes to develop one two three four five screw on the cap Next is nitrate. This has two bottles. And the first bottle you have to make sure you give it a very hard shake for 30 seconds. And I've already pre-shaken these so it's already ready to go. And for each of these it takes six drops. So there's test number, bottle number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Check the tube, give it a mix. we have pH all this is is one bottle again like the nitrite this one is five drops and it develops instantly one two three Four, five. And last we have phosphate, which is another one bottle. Five drops again, and this one takes five minutes. One, two, three, four, five.
Okay, so our tests have all developed now. So let's have a look at our results. Um, our ammonia, zero, that's good. You don't want any ammonia whatsoever because that's very deadly. Uh, next, you got. Oops, got that wrong way around. Um, nitrite, also zero, which is you want zero in the cycle tank. If you're showing any high amount of either of these, then your tank isn't cycled yet, and you shouldn't really be having fish in them. Um, next. Nitrate. Um, five, I'd probably call that. Nitrate is apparently only deadly in quite high quantities. I think they normally say if it's 40 or over, then you want to take action but anything lower than that is fine. Our pH looks about mm, not quite seven, not quite eight, probably about seven and a half I'd probably call that. Which is good for a community tank like mine. And then phosphate Phosphate's not really a big deal in a freshwater tank. All it'll do really is give algae more food to eat. But we have very low, I'd call that uh, zero or maybe 0.25 at the most. But that's our aquarium water tested. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful and useful um make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you if you enjoyed it thanks for watching